Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And there is a lovely sunset here in Dazarlor, guys. In the last episode, we joined two raid groups to head into Uldir, and we cleared not one, but two of the wings. We went through the Halls of Containment and the Crimson Descent, and that just leaves us with the Heart of Corruption. In foul pits, far beneath the Halls of Uldir, the source of the corruption that has befallen Zandalar awaits. And the two bosses on the chopping block are going to be Mithrax, who we saw in action right here at the Pyramid, and Gahoon itself, who we've heard oh so many wonderful things about. Now I've gone ahead and queued up. We've got a little bit of a wait, about 22 minute average wait time. I'm about 10 minutes in. Um, before we go into the raid, I also wanted to let you guys know that I've been reading in the comments that some people are disappointed that I didn't do the Magni Bronzebeard quest in Nazmir before uh, queuing up like I said I was going to. And I do apologize because I completely forgot to explain why that is. I found out through other comments that chronologically it's a lot better to do the raid first and then Bronzebeard's quest line. Because at that point you kind of know a little bit more about the goings on in Uldir and the quest line is apparently a lot better. So I hope you guys can understand that, and I apologize again for not explaining it in the last episode like I should have. But with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and take care of some busy work off camera, and I'll see you guys deep in the heart of corruption. Oh, here we go. That didn't take too long, about 20 minutes. Not too shabby. And yeah, corrupted spidery kind of stuff. Why am I not surprised? Grab some tasty, tasty warlock candy. Make sure that I've used our augmented runes. Amorphous cyst. Oh, lovely. The reorigination drive is ready. Now it is left to us to end Gohoon's plague once and for all. The seals are broken. The end is here. Come and be the first to receive my gift. Eh, don't wanna. You will carry my pestilence and a vast bubbling putrid cyst will cover the world. That sounds a bit unsanitary. I like the Dark Young, that's a Shub Nograth reference from Lovecraft. They're kind of like giant misshapen trees, but like made out of flesh and tentacles. And we'll grab some uh, nice refreshments here. We need all of our healers. I would assume so. Seems that Cyclopean Terror. Just always remind me of the trash compactor monster from A New Hope. Oh, lovely. Ooh, there's Gahoon right there. Ugh. And we need to remember. I told you guys in the last episode. Please, please remember. I need to stab the body of Gahoon with the Warglaive. So we can continue the uh, storyline with our uh, dearly departed war chief, Vulture. Apparently, we are going over details. Oh, good lord. Blood Shield heals 5% of maximum health every 0.5 seconds. Ew. Well, that's not pleasant. Let's see what we got here. We've got one tank, three healers, and 16 DPS. Hmm. Well, you know, I could probably try and heal, but I don't think it would end up end well for anyone, to tell you the truth. And I'm not one to doubt myself, but I don't have bandages anymore, and I've just got my crimson vial, and I don't know what it's exactly going to do for you. It was uh, formulated just for goblin needs. But while they're figuring that out, guys, um, I guess we'll take a pause here and let you know when it's time to start pulling trash. Okay, that was a comedy of errors. Everyone was using every toy that they had. The outbreak has begun. 
Don't cross the street. Start bargain. Gonna get out of the way. Attention. A new power matrix is available. Oh wow, we're just going straight to the moon. Are we? I am a storm of pain. How you doing, Cam? Let the feast of a thousand balls begin. A power matrix is ready for opposition. Must construct additional pylons. Okie dokie, now what? I'm gonna go ahead and follow. Okay, doing good. I don't have anything. Torment. Free shadow damage. Oh, that's a lot of eyeballs. No, no torment for you. Power matrix can now be collected. At least we can stun them. Let's the feast. Of a thousand miles begin. Can we negotiate with that? Why a thousand miles? How about ten? Ten sounds good. So, you cannot blind the giant eyeball. I'm somewhat disappointed. Ah. Yeah. Saving Severed! Come ah. Okay, uh, explosive corruption. I'm just gonna finish. Attention! A new power matrix is available. Very good. They have already cleared Mithrax, and now we're just dealing with Gahoon. I mean, I'm okay with this, because it saves time. Warning, the origination blast imminent. Please clear the area. Eh. Okay, good job. I guess we did things. What are we doing now? Is that okay? Beam coming down. And now what? You cannot escape Okay, well, this is okay. No Mithrax for us today, apparently. All the moon, all the time.
shadows does nothing. Alright, give me a second. How do you do Blood Beast? Warning. The origination blast imminent. Please clear the area. sad that we didn't get to take on Mithrax. Oh, Mithrax was already defeated, so we joined that group already. Hey, you know what? I am going to go ahead and take credit for that kill. That was all me. So that will do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and leave the instance group. I don't think a lot of people realize that uh, Mithrax had already been bested. And, uh, fancy meeting you here, Vol'jin. I've been, uh, out and about. How can old Vol'jin help ya? Madness and darkness be moving on the other side. The pain of so many be mighty. It has been a foe that threatened the truth for many generations. We may not have always known his name, but we felt his curse. Today, you wanted justice for thousands of generations of trolls. And you won. Now, take me glaive and walk with Talanchi. Let her present your victory to her people. Let the trolls know justice and the strength of Amiga. Present the glaive of Vol'jin with Talanchi to the people of Xandalar. Oh! Showed him. Leader of Zandana, show the blade to those that need to see it the most. Give them peace. This was not my achievement. You brought the champion to these shores against your father's will. You learned the secrets of Cahoon when no one be listening. You set in motion what be needed to save your people. Yeah. Now more than ever, they be calling for a leader they can love. And trust. Show them the blade. Become the symbol they need. Behold the blood of Gahun. By his will were born the deaths of Shadra, Hyrik, Torga, and 
and the raison. By his will were born the deaths of so many of our brothers and sisters. Let this claim be displayed as a reminder that no matter how far we fall, no matter how much we lose, we are Sandalari. We adapt. We find a way to survive. If it were not for this hero of the Horde, our losses would have been far worse. This proves more than ever that it is time for us to adapt, to become part of the world again. Sandala forever! Music was really loud, but it looks like we made it. And as they're calling Talanji the leader, um, we're kind of a little bit out of chronology here, but we'll catch up here later, guys. I promise. In the meantime, these be the dark times. Talanji is the true ruler of Zandala, even if she be doubted. With guidance, she will eclipse her father's reign. Well, now. You have the best. Ooh, spirits be with you. Complete the fallen, fallen storylines in Zen the fallen chiefs, chieftain, and justice for the fallen. So what I believe that does, guys, is we can go ahead and maybe unlock the Zandalar now. But we'll do that at another time. We've got a little bit. Actually, we cleared that fairly quickly since I didn't want to uh, deal with the wait times. And that was a little bit of a messy situation. A lot of people were dropping and leaving and cussing because nothing was getting done. But, you know, Bahoon's dead. Mithrax is dead. Though, I, you know, Swindle wasn't present for that. That's okay. And we shall now head up to Nazmir. And talk to Magni and start the Brothers Help Quest. So, see you guys in Nazmir. So we're back in Nazmir. Um, I was reading up the adventure guide, and apparently the Blood Feast was just something that Cahoon cast in the second phase. So we just kind of missed any opportunities to get that. So that is what it is, unfortunately. <laughs> but no worries. Now, you may be wondering what exactly that thing is on the radar that's glowing. Um, I actually had the chance to get some missions to unlock some new toys at some of the random bases around. Um, one in Nazmir, one in Moldu, one in Zandalar, respectively. We'll go ahead and do those another day. Some of them seem kind of faint, such as there's now a mission to get at the Great Seal, which means we don't have to go down to the harbor as much as we used to, which I do appreciate. But we dealt with the um, corrupted, kind of old one experiments, and evil trolls, and good trolls, and Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Master from Beyond the Grave Trolls. Seems like Bulgin is kind of taking the Obi-Wan Kenobi role. Ah, come on, Magni! This old bird can handle the extra weight! Ah, uh, no. What?! That thing could barely carry us when I wasn't made of diamond! Ha! I'll take my chances on the ground! We killed two bronze beads. No one will know. No one will care. At least no one in the Horde does. Great. I knew Bron would show himself. It is Titan Wars, after all. Our world needs us, champion. Can you please talk some sense into Bran for me? It's kind of Bran to offer, but his flying machine would drop like a rock with me aboard. Best if you carry just the two of you. Bran will fly you down to Uldia, and I'll find my own way and meet you inside. Take Bran's flying machine to Uldia. When you get lost, use the teleporter pad outside the entrance. Remember your I'll meet you inside Uldia! Bran! Fly safe! Uh, been a while since I've teamed up with someone from the Horde. But if we want to save Azeroth, we have to work together. Damn right. Okay, so just do what I say and everything should go fine. I get the fly, right? When we were lads, I used to joke about Magni shouldering the weight of the world. Didn't know he'd take it literally. That's just the way he's always been. As a brother, as King of Ironforge, 
And now, a speaker of Azeroth! No matter how heavy the burden, Magni takes it all on himself. He's as stubborn as he is brave, and it's cost him dearly. But he's so valuable now. When he turned into Diamond, we all thought he was lost forever. That he sacrificed himself to save us. But that was just the beginning. Now he can hear everything Azeroth says, and feel all the pain she endures. Does he clip his fingernails? He'll do whatever it takes to heal our world. But this time, there's no way I'm letting him shoulder that burden alone. You got thin yourself in Now the hold on! We're going in! Yeah, I just got back from here. Uh oh. Ring of containment. So we are kind of doing... A, we are in the raid, but we're not actually in the raid, if that makes any sense. Azeroth cries out in pain. Ah, good. I see you've arrived in one piece. Now let's see if Mother can lend us a hand. I may be Azeroth's speaker, but Bronn's the expert on Titan archaeology. If he says that Mother can help us save Azeroth, then I'm more than willing to place my faith in her. Lum Champion, let's hear what guidance she has to offer. Take Magni to meet Mother and activate Waygate consoles. Her world must be healed. Ha-ha! This way! Two dwarves and a goblin head to a Titan facility. Greetings. I am the Matron of Tenacity, Herald of Endless Research. Designation, Mother. Yeah, we've met. <clears throat> uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Magni! Visitor identified. Designation, Speaker. Presence of Speaker indicates imminent threat to Azeroth. Exactly! We need your help, Mother. Azeroth's dying. And nothing we do seems to heal her. Error. Uldir facility designed for old god experimentation and containment. Planetary rehabilitation not within operational parameters. Recommendation. Relocate mother unit to chamber of heart facility. Uh, no offense, but if we fly in machine couldn't carry Magni, uh... I doubt it can hold a Titan Watcher all the way to Silithus. Acknowledged. Waking activation advised. Destination coordinates encoded within part of Azeroth. Well, you heard the champion. Let's get to it! And what are we doing? Console activate. Ah, okay, gotcha. Ah, looks like there's still some corruption left in the system. Yeah. Extermination of all contaminated specimens recommended. Yeah, thanks, Mother. Appreciate that. Oh, even some of the blood trolls are here. So this is chronologically after the raid when we fixed Mother, so I see why people said we needed to do this after the raid. Which is weird considering the timeline of the other quest. I hate it when the game is awesome. but it kind of takes you out of the timeline. I like to take care of everything without a whole lot of backtracking. Especially in MMOs. Our world needs us, Champion. That's just as I feared. We don't have much time, Champion. This may be our only hope. These tight facilities never cease to amaze me. I can only imagine how many of their secrets Bran has yet to uncover. I just hope that one of them holds the answer to save an Azeroth. It's time to bring Mother to the Heart Chamber of Heart. Be prepared for anything, Champion. You can never be quite sure what will happen when you activate a, a Titan machine. Evacuate Mother from Old Deer. Heart of Azeroth item level increased by 10. Hmm. Remember your duty to Azeroth. A fully functional Titan wiki? I cannot wait to see it in action! Warning. Wiki diagnostic routine incomplete. 
High probability of travel conduit corruption. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Ugh, whatever happens, our champion can handle it. Be ready. I hate you both so much right now. I just want to let you know. Something's not right. And Blanche. We're losing her. She's <laughs> Okay, well, we didn't deal with this Rax, but you're here, so we look similar. Just say for all intents and purposes for Myth Rax, okay? So I can say that uh, you single hint. I guess we're doing the thing. Meanwhile, at the loading screen. Okay, Maiden of Vitality, meet Mother. Mother, Maiden of Vitality. I'm sure your conversations are going to be absolutely riveting. Azeroth cries out in pain. That was close, but we made it back to the Chamber of Heart. Now to see if Mother can find a way to heal Azeroth. Thank you, sweet me. I hate you. Our world. Now that we've brought you here, can you find a way to heal Azeroth? Accessing Chamber of Heart data archives. Comprehensive analysis will require approximately 77 cycles. That's years, isn't it? Just for analysis? How long before we have a plan of action? Calculating now. Well, at least it's a start. Thank you, champion. You'll be the first to know when Mother finds an answer. You know, can you just go ahead and lose my number? Titan console has a series of data entries displayed on it. A few events that led to Azeroth's wound. Which means you go look at Sargeras plunging his sword again. Okay, well that's the end of that storyline. <laughs> but we do have one more ally to assist us in healing Azeroth. That's good, especially with the old one starting to wake up and causing all kinds of chaos. Okay, so who do we? Our world needs us, champion. Champions of Azeroth. Oh, remember your duty to Azeroth. That's the emissary quest for the day. Cool deal. Well, while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and travel back to the pyramid, to the Great Seal, and then we're gonna take a portal over to Ogremar because I want to double check and see if I'm actually right that we can now unlock the Xandalari um, uh, allied race. I think that's exact. I think that's the prerequisite for it, and then that quest is actually pretty awesome as well. Uh, let's see here. Because I know the next thing we need to do is continue the war campaign. Eh, good old Ogremar. It has been a busy day for Sully. Actually, I just realized something, and I feel like a heal for it. We have been missing a member of the crew. Let's go ahead and summon. Hey, Krakus. You missed some stuff, but, you know... Hey, yo, yo, yo okay. It's good to have you on board. There we go. And the band is back together. Now it's unlocked. Let me go ahead over here to the Ford Embassy. And we see the 
quest is available, we know that all is well. And all is not. Okay. So we are not yet there. We're getting close, though. And we did get an achievement. The spirits be with you. So all good. And I think this is a perfect place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Um, in the next um, next episode, we we'll, should be doing the RP session with Deristi. If that doesn't happen for whatever reason, we're going to jump right back into the campaign with Sylvanas and uh, Derek Proudmore and all that good stuff. And I think we're going to have a good time, but we are definitely clearing that content. If you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.